Hey guys, so I'm not gonna lie, I honestly feel like a really fucked up tooth fairy right now in this costume, but I found this at the thrift shop actually the other day whenever I went thrift shopping and I was like, okay, I think I can try to like modify this to see if I can get it to work because I don't want to spend $60 on a retarded costume that I'm probably not even going to go out in. I'm probably just gonna end up sitting at home or going to a friend's house and I've been really trying to find different ideas. And this was my first find, so I might do like a couple on this. I know we're quite far from Halloween, but it's still relevant for you guys if you would like to sew stuff or you like to get creative. I don't know. It's 3 in the morning, and this is what I'm doing. So I found this made costume, I assume that's what it was, at the thrift shop, and I believe it was $4, 3 or $4. And it looked really small because it was just, I'll tell you what I did at the costume in a minute, and if I can, I'll kind of try to stand up and show you guys the, um, what I did to it. Found it for four bucks. It was a size small, so whenever I put it on, everything fit, but it was super short. Like the bust, um, with where the skirt, I would like for it to hit my waist. It literally went almost like right underneath my boobs, so it looked ridiculous, and it was so short. But it's kind of hard to find a woman costume or a girl costume that's not going to be super short for Halloween. Um, so basically, I just kind of distressed it, and the bottom does have like kind of like a uh, lace floofy thing you know what I mean that if you were to buy separate would literally be like 30 bucks so the sleeve as you can see this one is intact how it's like you know whatever the top and it's kind of like stretchy and that's stretchy and this sleeve now see what I would want to do would be more of like a zombie or like a scary type costume so this is how I why I did this this sleeve over here hopefully you can tell it's not it's just flowy it's not um, rubber bandy because I took the snap from this one took it off so it looked distressed and that way you have like kind of a lace thing and for Halloween whenever I do get my fake blood I will probably put some on here obviously on the white white parts of the costume um, I really don't do anything different with my makeup because I, ha I have really sensitive skin so if I have like dry blood on my face all night it's just not gonna look good in the morning because let's face it I'm not gonna wash my face before I pass out on Halloween I will just fall asleep um, you guys remember my video last year that I did with my Batman onesie costume I did like the kind of like cat ears and my hair. I don't know what's going on with my hair right now. I just kind of like pinned it back in a weird way because I finally have fucking bobby pins. So I'm like bobby pin all over the place. So I might do like the cat ear thing or I'll probably just buy like a cheap plain headband and then see what materials I have around here to make one. Because I even looked on Amazon for like made kits just because I have kind of the dress going and I still don't want to spend $15 on a kit whenever the dress itself cost me $4. So if you guys remember in my old bedroom, I don't know if you do, I've had this, which is connected to the costume. It's just like distressed um, material that I guess I did buy for Halloween. I use it as like a table cover, uh, you know, because it looks creepy. For the costume, I cut it in half, and right now I'm wearing a tank top underneath of it just for the camera's sake. Because, I, I don't know, I, I might not wear a tank top. But if I scoot back, ow, okay, something's hard. I don't know if you can tell. So I did cut it in half, and then I'm wearing a tank top under just so I can, like, not be flashing and everything. And then I actually had, for my costume ideas last year that I did, I had, like, a white flowy thing that I still had. It's, like, a just a stretchy shirt. So I cut it into a way that I could make a apron, because it didn't come. It was just a plain black. And I'm sure this looks terrible on camera. I don't even know if I can, like, scoot back enough for you to see that this is, like, the bottom, how it has, like, the white netting underneath so it's poofy. I don't literally like the poofiness, but I don't want to cut it because I like the, the lace at the bottom. And then I wrapped this distressed stuff around it. I don't know, maybe the maid got tangled in the curtains and that's how she died, who fucking knows. But I'm probably going to cut this because it is super long. See, and if I stand up, you can't even like, you can't even really see. I don't know what you're honestly legit seeing now, but, and I'm not wearing a bra. I don't know if I'll be wearing but it's just a simple whatever and clearly I didn't cut it I'm trying to lift it up I didn't cut it like perfect because I wanted it to look more you know distress how many more times can I say the word distress but I wanted it to look more like creepy and then I'll probably cut this to where it's like you know skirt length so I'm not tripping because I, I do that a lot or I might kind of make this use some of the material for like the headband if I get a plain white headband you can wrap some of this around it and then hot glue gun something on there I don't know and then I, actually whenever I was there I found a Dorothy costume it was just a dress same thing and I mean it's like the exact same thing you do you can either cut it in half you can kind of like fringe the bottom out so it kind of looks ripped up just get some fake blood and because it's just so much easier and more fun to 
make your own costume and not spend $60. I mean, if you're literally going to like a costume party and there's like a costume contest, that's cool. But I've always found it just looks so much better when somebody makes their own costume. It just, it just puts more fun into it. And that's what I like to do late at night. Clearly, that's what I'm doing now. Why am I out of breath? Good Lord, I am out of shape. But, yep, this is my $3 find. I mean, honestly, the I only spent... I'm sorry, four dollars. I only spent four dollars on this entire look because everything else I had at the house. So, um, I mean, it's not that difficult. And I think I'm going to try to go either tomorrow or possibly Thursday with my girlfriend to go back to and do some more thrift shopping. So if I find another Halloween costume that I can DIY or kind of show you guys how to do it, because I don't really know if I'm going to dress up. I'm just doing it for the sake of the video because I think it's fun to do. Well, hopefully, I get at least like I'm hoping to do like four or five costumes before actually getting to Halloween, so you guys can have some ideas. Or if you just wanted to do, if you have a plain black skirt and a tank top, and then just find like a white shirt or something to make the thing out of, and then just throw fake blood all over yourself, because honestly, who the fuck cares? But I will see you guys in the next video. If you like it, thumbs up, or if you want um, if you want a costume idea, leave it below in the comments, and then whenever I go to the thrift shop, I'll try to find materials to where I can make it and make it cheap, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.